called presidential candidate Raila Odinga's trip out of the country together with his core principles caused some bit of a fuss, coming just two days ahead of the inauguration of Uhuru Kenyatta as president. Concerns that continued to the D-Day yesterday where the trio were missing in action. So what were they up to in South Africa? So we have uh, an opportunity now to relax in um, a very um, friendly environment in Southern Africa. We've been watching games. We've been uh, playing some games uh, and we are now back fully rejuvenated. Raila hailed Kenyans for upholding peace during and after the hotly contested general elections and said his team was rejuvenated and ready to engage in constructive politics after the timely retreat. So we are ready for uh, a constructive engagement with everybody. We also want to thank Kenyans uh, for conducting themselves very peacefully first during the electioneering period and also um, during this other uh, period until uh, yesterday. Um, I want to really congratulate Kenyans for showing the spirit of maturity and unity as they received guests uh, in our country. He, however, was not willing to divulge reasons that might have led to his keeping of the President Uhuru Kenyatta's inauguration. Observers will, however, be keen on whether Raila and his team will accept the olive branch extended to all losing candidates in the concluded general elections by President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto. As he starts his new life outside active politics, Raila also faces the hackling task of keeping his core team intact as they strategize for the next general elections. Achola Simon for Channel One News Hour.